Use diagrams to show the structure of a sodium atom and a sodium ion. Okay, so here we have it. So if you look inside a sodium atom, you'll find 11 protons and 12 neutrons in the nucleus. But what we're really interested in is in the electrons. So in the innermost shell, you can see two electrons. Then in the outer shell, if you count them up, the second shell, there's eight. So if you want to just pause the video now, you can quickly count them for yourself. And in the outermost shell, there's one electron. Okay, so that's the sodium atom. But with the sodium ion, you can see that the nucleus hasn't changed at all. But you still have two electrons in the inner shell. You still have eight electrons in the second shell. But you can see there's no longer the third shell, which had one electron, because it gave it away. Because now it's got eight electrons in its outermost shell. And so now there's one less electron, but the proton number hasn't changed. So the charge of this particle is now plus one. And that's why we have these big brackets with the plus. Yeah, so that's what we mean by a diagram to show the structure of sodium atoms and sodium ions. Okay. Now what about part B? A chlorine atom and a chloride ion. Well, let's just follow the same methodology. There's 17 protons and 18 neutrons. There's two electrons in the inner shell. There's eight electrons in the second shell. So again, if you want to pause it now, you can quickly count them for yourself. And then there's two, 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 which is six, seven electrons in the outermost shell. Okay? So it's got seven in the outermost shell, which means that it needs one more to make eight to be stable. So when it does that, it becomes the chloride ion. And as you can see now, the only thing that's changed is the outer shell, which is it's got two electrons here rather than one. So it's got eight in its outer shell. We can see there's one more electron in, outer shell, uh, in, in the atom compared to the number of protons. So there'll be one more negative charge. So this whole thing will be charged to, the, to negative one. And so that's why we have these square brackets that say this particle is charged uh, with a charge of negative one. 